it's uh, Marcel Van Noort, and he's a uh, architect as part of the uh, CA team. And uh, today I wanted to, uh, to cover um, the different things to watch out for during an application performance management deployment. Um, we've, we've seen um, a lot of deployments as, as part of our own, uh, of course, experience as part of the uh, implementation for our customers. And we wanted to share some of, that, some of, the, some of the things to watch out for. The top, the top three things to watch out for, and that's what we see as part of our implementations. Organizational silos. Yeah. Um, the second thing is the lack of focus of, of the business impact of APM. So we got to make sure that APM actually does uh, provide that direct value to business needs. And the complexity of applications is also becoming more and more important. And more and more applications become more and more complex. One of the main reasons, the first main reason, is the organizational silos. So in, a, in an application, you would have, of course, end users going across the network, um, hitting the data center, firewalls, you would have uh, web servers, application servers, database servers, potential kicks transactions going off to the mainframe. Um, there's there's, a, there's a, a whole load of, of, of technology and architecture, of course, as part of applications. Um, a lot of times in organizations, these Silos are formed. You have a team of web server specialists, you have a team of application server specialists, and the DPAs as well, of course. All different teams. Um, these, as, as part of an APM implementation, these teams need to work together to provide the value that APM provides. So APM goes across horizontally, horizontally across, across all of these silos. Um, so it's not just another silo on the side, it's actually going across from end to end, you know, from end user all the way down to the database and back again um, to provide that value. An example of, of, of the business impact and identifying the business impact is, for example, you wanna, you wanna, as, as a business you want to see where issues are, are, are being seen by different, like, different customers. So, for example, if we have a users in one part of my organization that have more problems with a certain business transaction than other users, or is this, 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 this slowness of the system, is that impacting my whole organization? That's a, that's a typical thing that, that a lot of organizations would like to know, and a lot of business users would like to know as well. Another example of that would be the business value. So, for example, uh, one, of our, one of our customers is a telecommunications uh, uh, company and they use APM actually to, to, to identify how many, how many contracts are being signed on a day-to-day -day basis, how many postpaid mobile contracts are being ordered across my website. That's the type of value that we can provide on top of the technical value that of course and then identifying issues in, in the back end at the same time. So being that, that link again between the business and, and the technology is, uh, is a critical APM functionality. With the complexity of this application architecture, there's also lots and lots of different metrics that we, that we capture with our APM solution. It's still key to actually identify what are the most critical metrics to look at. There's, there's, there's millions and millions of metrics, and it's not good to look at all of them. You need to really know which ones to focus on. So we can, we can certainly help you with that. So in order to realize the maximum value from the investment in APM, make sure that you set up the APM process and identify the role that you need to create in your organization. Also ensure that the APM solution provides business value to your organization. And finally, ensure that you understand all the components of your application architecture and identify the right metrics to monitor and manage your application.